Hey guys, it's Yvette and it is Vlogmas Day 9. No. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure it's Day 9. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so lost. Um, so, I'm just feeling a little... I don't know. I'm going to explain it to you. You'll ex you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, for those of you who uh, faithfully watch, <laughs> you, you know that I have been feeding a little um, cat outside and I don't, I personally don't think she's feral. I think something must have happened. Like she had an owner and then she got lost, dropped. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, because she doesn't tip, she doesn't act like a typical feral cat as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I call her little sweetie and, um, every night that I see her, I feed her and she doesn't come every single night, but almost. And so it's really cold outside tonight. It's really cold. I mean, it's like, it's below freezing. It's like 30, 28. I don't know. It's really cold. So I thought for sure that she would come in tonight. We, I, you know, I open the door, I talk to her, I feed her. Um, tonight, she did not finish her bowl of food, but after she ate, she just sat there outside the door. And I, I saw her for a little bit sitting outside the door and I kept trying to get her to come in. I would open the door and, you know, call her to come in and she wouldn't come in. She wouldn't move. She just looks at me. And so Jim had been upstairs. He came, he came down and he said, he says, I, I don't know. It's really cold. I think she's going to come in. You're the cat whisperer. Come over here. And I was like, I've tried already, you know, obviously I'm not the cat whisperer. <laughs> and so I tried again. I went over, I opened the door. Um, I thought maybe if I pick up the bowl of food and put it in the house, just inside the door, and I back up a little bit. So I did that. And then Jelly Bean. Now, my cats, guys, do not go outside. Just, I do not let my cats outside. Um, so Jelly Bean, he goes over to the door. And I decide that I'm just going to let him do what he wants to do. He went outside just a little bit and went up to her and they smelled each other's nose, right? They did a little sniff of each other. And I thought, okay, now she's going to come in. She'll see, you know, Jelly Bean's nice. Of course, Scout is like going ape poo-poo behind me. <laughs> Trying to start a fight with Smudgy. And I'm like, oh God, now she's never going to come in. <laughs> She knows we got like some kind of rogue or crazy cat living in the house. <laughs> um anyway, I, I let them I let Jelly Bean stay out there for a second until I saw he was like heading toward the stairs. And I'm like, no, no, no. So I had to go out there and, and go get him. And of course that kind of scared her away a little bit. And then I, I don't know, guys. I really I you know, it's not like I'm trying to I don't want to, I, I can't put it into words. It's like, I want to help her. I want her to come in and be part of our family. I want her to um, not be cold. And I want her to always have plenty of food to eat. And I want, um, I want all of these things. But at the same time, I don't want her to not be happy. And it's one of those things where in my mind, I'm thinking, how could she not be happier in my house? And yet, <laughs> she obviously is right now. So I don't know. It's just really hard for me. Um, anyway, I am very happy every time I see her, every night when I see her and that she's still okay and, and I can feed her and she's good. I'm happy about that. Um, I am not happy when I think she's cold. Um, okay, 
So that's what's going on tonight. And that's why I'm a little, you know, I'm not sad. I'm not, you know, uh, anything like that. I just, I don't know. I want to help all the kitties. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and it's not like I have, you know, I'm, I'm not. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. Let's open up our advent calendars. <laughs> I have the Cotton Cuts one first. Here it is. Um, I'm going to take the lid off. Oops. Don't fall, lid. And I'm going to pull out day nine. Did I say it was day nine? What day did I say it was? It's day nine. This, that, this is the truth because this is the one I'm on. <laughs> Vlogmas day nine. Um, okay, so let me scooch this roll for a bit and let's open up day nine and see what kind of words of wisdom they have for us today. Uh, any day spent sewing is a good day. And there it is. And it's, it's um, very interesting that that would come up today because um, I mean, you guys know that I'm friends with Sobeka and Stephanie Stitches, and um, I'm working today, and then I get this, we Marco Polo pretty much every day um, to talk about, you know, whatever, right? We're all just, you know, whatever, projects. Um, and of course, Becca is like, she's finishing the quilt that she's making from the... Oh, now I'm not going to, the ginger quilter, I, she changed her name, her box name. I don't remember what it is, but I remember the ginger quilter was her, what she called herself. <laughs> so hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so in the November box, there was like a quilt that was so cool. I love it. It's, it's um got like presents all over it. And is it, um... Who is it that designed that quilt? See, I'm like, I've got so many different quilts running through my mind right now. I can't remember. I'll, I'll put it, if I remember, I will put it down below in the description box so you can see, um, just in case you missed what the ginger quilter had in her box in November. So Becca's goal is to try to make the projects that are in the box so that she can show you the project, at least the quilt top, in the next month's box. So anyway, this quilt, um, y'all, I am all messed up. Look, I can't stop yawning. I have like a little hiccup. I'm all verklimped over the cat. Uh, I mean, seriously. Okay. Um, so she's trying to finish this quilt and she pretty much like finished it and she was like showing us and I'm just, I am such a loser guys. Cause I'm just sitting there at work and all I can think is. I want to make a quilt like I I, I want to do that <laughs> this is my life right now guys I'm just I get I hit these pockets where it's it, it just pushes home to me what I'm working toward what am I working toward what why am I you know, why am I constantly going? And I'm always tired. But when I come home and I get to do this, when I get to make these videos for you guys or um, make sewing to tutorials and design quilts and write up patterns and think about what I want to do next with Piecing It Real. What do I, all the things that I want to do. Th this is, it reminds me, I'm like, this is why I do it because I am gonna do it. And yes, I feel like a broken record. I feel like I've been saying this forever and ever and ever in a day. But you'll notice I have not given up. It's hard road, guys. It's a hard road. It's not easy. Yes, I'm tired all the time. Yes. Um, I feel like 
I, I, I don't know. It's just not for me anymore. I, I used to really enjoy my job. I just don't anymore. It's not, it, this is nothing negative. This is nothing, you know, it's just, it just is. And I want to do what I love and love what I do, right? And I sure wish that I had discovered earlier in my life that I wanted to do this because maybe it would have been a little bit easier if I uh, weren't older. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, holy cow. What am I talking about? I Why do I do this? I don't know. Why You guys, I love each and every one of you because I know that y'all are all sitting there still listening to me ramble on and on. Um, how about if I show you what this fat quarter looks like? <laughs> this is the fat quarter for day nine. And let's see if there is a little bit of silvage on there where I can tell you what this is. Okay, so there is a little bit of selvage. What part do I have? Let's see. Okay, it's by Penny Rose Fabrics um, by Jill Finley. And I think this says Meadow Sweets. This is the only place where it is. And I think it says Meadow Sweets. See that right there? I think it says Meadow Sweets. Now I will, um, I'll go ahead and de-Google that <laughs> and let you know if something called, um, um, what did I say? Something Sweets. Yo, my head, Meadow Sweets. If I actually find fabric called Meadow Sweets, I will let you know that that is absolutely the correct name. And here's Jelly Bean, our little welcoming committee. He needs to do a little bit better job though. Jelly Bean, <laughs> Jelly Bean, you, you should have told little sweetie that it's very nice at mommy's house and that she should come and live with us. Yeah, you should tell her. You should tell her how fun it is here <laughs> and how you always have food. I know you think you don't have food enough. I, I know, Jelly Bean never has enough food. Okay, so now let's open up. Um, we have the Stitch Supply Company, this guy here. And I'm going to open up number nine. Ooh, we got squigglies. I'm not gonna take them out because Jelly Bean will go cuckoo. Um, this is a an enamel pin. And it says soda. And the pin is by Rashida Coleman Hale. And Jelly Bean, don't go in there, baby. I'm gonna have to put that away. There it is, the enamel pin. I collect enamel pins, so I'm very happy for that, but I have no idea why soda, <laughs> although I love soda. I just, I don't know. I mean, I guess I kind of thought there would be lots and lots of quilting stuff inside, but I'm happy for this. I like, I collect the pins, so I'm happy about it. I just wanna point that out. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this one down and then let me, Jelly Bean Baby, Mommy needs to, I need to put that away, okay? I know, you don't mean to, you're not trying to upset anybody, I know. I know. It's okay, baby. Okay. And then we have Stitchy Box. This guy. I'm going to have to kind of hunt down day nine, but we'll find it. I think I saw it yesterday, actually. Oh, yeah, I kind of left it on top. Okay. Jelly Bean, you gonna help mommy? This is day nine. You wanna help, buddy? Okay, let's get it open. Okay. <laughs> He's not like. He just like relaxes himself like he's right. Oh, well, it's cute. Okay. Um, day nine, we received, we are receiving, we have received a handmade felt star ornament. Add this handmade ornament to your tree or to a special gift. And oh my goodness, I love it. That's cute. 
Now, I personally do not have any clue what this has to do with cross stitching, but that's okay with me. <laughs> he thinks it's his now. I'm glad it's a little felted ornament because I don't like putting things on the tree that can break so that they can do whatever they want and, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, like if a glass ball falls and breaks or something and they try to eat that, oh my goodness. Don't bite it. That's mommy's gift. Don't eat it, okay? Just sniff it. A jelly bean. <laughs> That's mommy's hanging from the tree. It's hanging from the tree. <laughs> I don't think you've had that in a while. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. I have opened everything for day nine. Okay, now he's playing in my... I keep this little guy here where I put all of my uh, threads. And he's playing with the threads now. Okay, don't, don't play with that. You know that, buddy. You know that. You like getting your back scratched? Yeah, me too. You want to scratch mommy's back? What if I turn around? Did you do it? <laughs> yeah. Are you saying hello to everybody? Say it, tell everybody hi. This is going to get mommy lots of views. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay, guys. I won't bore you all night our morning. A lot of you guys are watching this in the morning. Um, again, I'm getting all sappy. I love you guys. You've been with me so long. And even the new guys, I'm very happy to have you here. Um, I am, I would really love to hit 10,000 subscribers by my birthday or by the end of the year. That would be great too. Um, it's okay if I don't, it's okay. I, I'll be, I'll be fine. Um, it just would be nice, you know, just to, to kind of like hit at least a goal that I used to have. I'm not so sure that it's such a huge goal for me now, but um, I don't know. It would be. <laughs> Are you trying to get mommy more viewers? Because you would do it. Yes, my little handsome boy. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for day 10. Thank you so much for coming and I'll see you then. Mwah.